Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me, Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your PayPal on your WordPress website on using WooCommerce and all that. Um, basically, it's a very, very uh, trustworthy solution. Everybody knows PayPal and it is a very good idea to have it on your site as an option for payment. Uh, so let's get started setting it up. All right, so as I said today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up PayPal on your WooCommerce store. So as I say, I have WooCommerce installed and activated already on my website. If you haven't, you can just go to the plugin store and just download WooCommerce. It's free and it's very, very handy in terms of uh, setting up your e-commerce store. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come up here and you want to come across to checkout. And then once that comes up, you want to go click on PayPal here. Now you can see I also have the PayPal Express checkout, but I actually got a plugin for this. So I won't be talking about this today. I'll only be talking about the normal PayPal. So the first thing you want to do is once you come onto your PayPal settings, you want to make sure that PayPal standard is enabled because otherwise you won't be able to use it on your website. So make sure that this is ticked. The title then is, if I go to my checkout, this is my title right here. So for my other one, I'm using Stripe as well, which I also have a video about how to set that up. And for that, I call the title is Secure Payment rather than Stripe. Whereas everybody knows PayPal, so I wanted to have that in here. So I call the PayPal and then you have your description. That will be the automatic description will be in there anyway, but you can change it around if you would like. Uh, so you can see here if I click there, you can see that it has a little description about what, uh, what PayPal is. And it also has what is PayPal up here. Um, then you have you can put in your PayPal email. So basically, this will allow you to receive uh, payments because PayPal works through uh, basically emails. It, you know, you don't need any API keys or anything. You just need your email. So first of all, go and set up your account with PayPal. And once you have it set up, uh, you should be asked to link your bank account. But you don't need to do that yet. You can actually start take, taking payments straight away before you link your bank account because it takes maybe two or three days to actually link your bank account um, but once you sign up just put the email that you use to sign up right in here for your PayPal email. Then this PayPal sandbox and enable logging is basically kind of for more you says here more advanced options this is for developers and it can be used to test payments and um, to be honest I I just like to t set up a test product instead and just buy it myself and just see if that works I don't really need to use the PayPal sandbox as such. And then debug log is, you can just click on this if you want. Um, so it, it just says log PayPal events. So if you want to do that, you can. Uh, enable IPN email notifications. So basically when I receive an order, it tells me that I can, that I have, so I get my standard email from uh, WooCommerce saying this is your order. And then I also get another one from PayPal uh, saying that I have received the money which is handy. Um, receive your email then. So basically if your your main your the PayPal your PayPal email differs from this one, well then uh, you can say if this this is your, your main email. So basically the difference is if my PayPal email was one thing and then this is where I'm actually going to receive the email about uh, the IPN email notifications. So PayPal identity token, you don't really need to be doing that. Um, invoice prefix, these are all fine. So you can send shipping details to PayPal instead of billing. So if you're using, um, if you're using PayPal for shipping labels, it says here you might want to send the shipping uh, address because they only send one address to, to PayPal. So payment action, then you can leave that on capture. Otherwise, you'd have to authorize it. Um, that's all fine. Page style, image URL, that's fine. And then last thing, you can just save changes and your PayPal is literally set up already on your WooCommerce store. It's very, very easy to set up PayPal because it doesn't work through API keys or anything. It just works through your email. So it's very, very easy to set up. As I said, I have another video teaching you how to set up Stripe, which will allow you to actually collect payments on your website, which is really, really handy. So if you'd like to check that out, the link will be in the description. But apart from that, your PayPal is now set up on your website and you're ready to go. So thanks very much, guys. I'll see you in the next video.
there you go. I hope this helped. I hope your PayPal is now set up on your WordPress website, on your WooCommerce store. Um, and I hope that, you know, people are happy with this and that you will see people paying through PayPal. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Uh, that would really, really mean a lot and would really help me to continue to grow this channel. Uh, I do have a link in the description if you want to check out my Stripe tutorial. Um, and there should be a, a link at the end of the video as well. Um, and that should be really helpful for you if you want to set up Stripe as well as PayPal on your website. Um, and please don't forget forget to let me know in the comments um, if there's anything else that, like, that you would like to see me do if there's anything at all that I can help you with to do with WooCommerce or WordPress I am more than happy to help uh, so thanks very much guys I'll see you in the next video